<laughs> Yo, nobody should be getting mad at each other. Zip, you should be getting mad at Haas. Haas should be getting mad at Zip. Both of y'all niggas bite off pack with the stacks. Let, let's talk about you. You hear this? Yo, bro, you got a spot of that, Haas. Yo, Haas, he said you was a bottom from the beginning, your roots, nigga. Do you understand what niggas are saying to you, boy? I'm not dissing nobody, but I'm keeping it real. He said you was a loser from birth. New day, new day, new day, new day, new day, new day. It's your boy. Pack with the stacks, you heard? Hey, yo, man, we're gonna do things. We're gonna switch it up a little bit. I got some new features and, and tools that I added to the channel. And uh, within the next week or so, you will be introduced to different tools and different things that I got going on with the channel. Let's get to this You can get with this Or you can get with that You can get with this Or you can get with that You can get with this Or you can get with that I think you get with this Cause this is where it's at Where it's at What's up boys If you're new to the channel Like, comment, and subscribe It's your boy Pack with the Stacks We here Yo man is is it's new things keep going on with this with this, with this Hassan Campbell and this zip with the drip, they back, they back fighting and kissing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta knock it off with all that. You heard what I'm saying? Either you're gonna be friends or you're gonna be enemies. Either you're gonna be friends or you're gonna be enemies. <laughs> but I'ma tell you what have you tears. Let's, shall we go? Shall we face the music? Listen to this. Listen to this nonsense. And y'all gonna see what's going on. Yeah, All right, y'all. All right. All right. See, right now what's going on is called the ultimate disrespect. These two guys will never be friends. Ever. Sometimes when you go past the line, you can't go back. This is why... No matter the human, I had plans to come up here and talk about something totally different, but the reality strikes. Yo, listen, man. Sometimes you might can go through something with some people. People could do something wrong to you, and they could do bad, bad things to you. It doesn't mean that you. Gotta jack the same type of character that they are. You don't gotta do that, because once you do that, you're no better than them. You can't stand out no more. You can't be special no more. You can't be special no more. Now you're just like them. So this is why when y'all see and y'all witness people do the most horrible things to me, Y'all say that back with the stacks, yo. Yo, such and such did that. Or yo, they did that. Some things, you're not going to get a reaction out of me. Even if you get a reaction out of me, it's going to be a small reaction out of me. Stating I don't, I'm not, I'm not happy with what you're doing. And it really won't, it's not going to go too much farther than that. Because I'm not going to let a piece of shit turn me into a piece of shit. We not doing that. That's the worst of the worst. See, that's the worst stage 
of them winning. Anybody in your life beating you at something, they win when they successfully transform you into them. They won the whole game. The game's over. Checkmate is over. So what you see these two guys going through, which is funny, but it's not funny, but I'm laughing. Because everybody think they slick when it comes to pack with the stack. So this way, this is why I don't care what nobody's going through. Go through it. Smash your face. Back to the humor. Whoa. 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 That was kind of crazy. What I'm going to be doing from now on, when I tell y'all people stealing from me, saying my stuff, I'm going to go back. I'm going to be doing videos and I'm going to be showing you. I'm going to let you listen to them stealing from me. I'm going to let you listen to how they take my words. I'm going to listen. I'm going to let everybody listen. So I don't want nobody to be up here saying, yo, Pac be reaching, yo. Pac just, that nigga Pac with the stacks just be, just be, just be wilding on people for no reason, yo. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I'm gonna make sure everybody knows everything. And I got some, I got some more stuff I gotta do. I got some more stuff I gotta do. So it's not over. It's work that has to be done. But just know, you will be hurt. Any claims that I've ever made about anyone, they'll be cleared up. You'll be able to see it. You'll be able to know it. You'll be able to say, yo, pack with the stacks. You don't be lying. You keep it a bean. I'm going to let you see it for yourselves. See, you got to fight fire with fire sometimes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this nigga said, <laughs> yo, son. <laughs> Nobody respects the nice guy. I used to take the nice guy road out. Help people, be extra nice. People don't respect that shit. <laughs> I got so much back work to do. I got so much back work to do, y'all. What is he talking about? Let's talk about families, nigga. Families? Look at that little boy I seen in that restaurant, nigga. Pack with the stacks. I told these niggas. Yo, you talking about people's sons and stuff, Zip? Y'all going too far, bro. People's mothers. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Pack reacts. Pack. Pack with the stacks reacts to Hassan Campbell and Zip with the drip. Back and forth, kissing and hugging. I said we saw your moms. I never seen that. He said they trying to pick that big bitch up. Yo, listen, man. Y'all are going too far with the mothers, man. This is YouTube, yo. <laughs> I'm not gonna get emotional over the stupidity that they doing. I'm not gonna get emotional over that. But I just want to let y'all know, y'all going too far, man. The mothers, the family, fathers, your daddy. Yo, wait till you hear her son. <laughs> 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 
What's wrong with you, nigga? What's wrong with you? He's frozen. Zip. Zip. He's right about that. Yo, look. Yo, Zip, right about that. I'm telling you, I ain't biased, bro. I'm Mr. No Bias. The real Mr. No Bias. I'm not bias. You say something that's real, you say something that hit home, I'm with you. You say something real, you say something that hit home, that's all facts. What what I'm supposed to do? What I'm supposed to do? Go against that? Somebody talk facts and I'ma be one of these dirty niggas out here with no money, broke ass niggas out here with no bread, uh uh going against when a nigga talk facts? Nah, that's not packed. I, I, I reprimand you. I, I'll clean you up. And I'll tell you something about yourself. But I ain't going to go against no facts. One thing about Pac. Say whatever you want. Don't like me or nothing. I don't care. Okay? Pac with the stacks. Don't go against facts. And that's a fact. Going against no facts. Anybody talk something that's facts? I'm with you, man. What I look like? A retard? You think I'm gonna go? You think I'm gonna come to YouTube and get retarded? That's what you think? That's what you guys think? I'm gonna wait till I get to YouTube to turn retarded and go against facts when people talking facts and people saying stuff that hit home and people saying stuff that you can't deny. I'm gonna go against that. Don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. I don't care who you are, who you are in my life. I don't care what your title is. Let me tell y'all, let me give y'all a quick rundown about me so you're going to understand the foundation. The foundation of Pack with the Stacks is I don't care about titles. I don't care who you are in my life. My mother, my mom's not here on this earth. Father, father's not here on this earth. Those was the biggest pains I ever fought, uh, faced in life. Yo, yo, hold up. <laughs> Both nigga think he fucking my bitch. Nigga, that bitch for rent. He ain't know how to treat her on and all that money spent. He said you a sweetheart, a sweetheart. He been going around around here with pimp, nigga. Yeah, got me fucked up. I had my mother and father left this earth, bro. Yo, yo, what did he do? <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Oh my stomach is killing me. That nigga. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> Wow, wow, yo, oh my God, my stomach, man, my stomach is hurting me, I can't, ooh, ooh, wee, my terms, yo, that's not how it go, that's not how it go, Mr. Zip, Hassan Campbell, this is my house. This is my house. He goes back and look at my videos that I do. Then he comes back to his page and do it. Now, this is my house. Anything I say. So, for anybody who's out there saying, yo, 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 stacks, yo, pack with the stacks, yo, they call me, they've been calling me pack stacks. Just for the record, people in the street been calling me pack stacks for years. I put the with the. 
pack with the stocks. Okay, stop playing with me. All right? I just want to let y'all know that early. But this is hilarious. Let's get back to where we was before we were so rudely interrupted. This nigga said, Daddy. Yo, that right there is hilarious. <laughs> Wait. It's not over. You got to hear Hassan. I'm, going, I, I'm not biased. <laughs> Yo, these are the people who you put on. Watch your circle. Stop telling everybody watch their circle, Hans. Because it looks like you're not watching your circles, bro. Every lima bean that you put on went against you. Every single one of them. You had some that went against you and then jumped back on the bandwagon because they feel like it's beneficial. Nah, it's more beneficial to be down riding. You don't have no friends. There is no friends. I don't care who you help on social media. They don't like you. All right? Yeah. The white Jelani, they don't like you. They don't like you. I don't care who you put on, who you help. They don't like you. See, sometimes people, parents, sit them down. Sometimes your moms and your fathers sit you down. I remember times when people was young, their parents sit them down and tell them, don't be friends with them. Don't want to be friends with them. They don't like you. And when you're young, sometimes humans can say something to you. I mean, adults say something to you that you don't understand because you don't know the bottom line of it. You don't know that the bottom line, the end result out of after all the bull crap is over that they don't like you. See, this is what your parents know. Your parents know how to go to the bottom line of everything. After all the bull crap is done. They don't like you. They don't like themselves. Zip with the drip is an institutionalized guy. What do you mean? If you got any problems in your life, you're dysfunctional, go to YouTube. You're going to get numbers. I'm telling anybody who wants to make money, if you's like a stupid looking nigga, or you, or you got uh, uh, malfunctions in your life, dysfunctional families, big time problems, big time problems. Those are the people who turn into celebrities. Life shambles as a kid. These are the ones. What are you talking about? You want to make it big? You can have nothing connected to your life, but your dad was a was a was a, was a, was one through the woods of hell. So you come out as an offspring. You might have opportunities in your life waiting for you to get on to get put on, and you ain't did nothing. You ain't sold or no. You ain't did nothing in the pain. Ain't did nothing. But know what you did? You had some of the worst nastiest stories connected to you, whether it's through your family, whether it's through your mama, your papa, whether it's anything that was horrible, you can win out here. All you gotta do is go on YouTube or social media, let them know, tell them the story. Let a couple people talk about your dysfunctional uh, behaviors or dysfunctional things that went on in your life and you're gonna win, buddy. You're gonna make some money. You're gonna make some money. So you gotta do. Every YouTuber, look at all the YouTubers. It's only once in a while you get a sensible person to come around and win. People don't care about sensible things. They care about dysfunctional. The guy zip with the drip. Uh, 20 years in prison. The smallest guy in the world, 20 years in prison. Guess what? Uh, uh, untouched, the smallest guy in the world. <laughs> the smallest guy in the world is 20 years untouched. Look. This is what, these are the stories that people are interested in. So they're gonna look at you on the camera. No, no, that's the guy that, um, yo, he did, no, look at him, he did, what? Who 
What? Yeah, these people gonna look at your face. They wanna see you on YouTube, boy. They don't like you. They just wanna look at you. They got something. Hassan Campbell, dysfunctional. All the things he's been through in his life. I don't read. That's a different type of thing. I don't. I don't joke about things like that. Yeah, they wanna look at him. They wanna see your face. That's him right there. What are you talking about? But why they looking? They ain't, sometimes they ain't even care about what you're talking about. I want you guys to understand this. Stop thinking people love you. And I keep telling you niggas nobody love you. I keep telling you niggas I don't care if you got a million subscribers. Them million subscribers don't even like you. Don't even like you. I keep telling you niggas that. Niggas really falling in love with these audience. Talking about my audience, my audience. Your audience don't give a jack damn about you. What are you talking about? I told you. I told you niggas. Y'all don't listen good. I told your ass to ask all your subscribers for one dollar. They love you. You guys, because I'm super chat you twenty dollars. Why you can't get all of them? Every single last one of them. To give you one dollar. Don't send me twenty dollars in a super chat. Go tell the other niggas to send me one dollar. You're not fly. You're not doing a fly. Cause somebody sent you twenty dollar cash app. It's nothing in today's world. It's like a. It's like not even a dollar. I said, this is what I said, nigga. I said, tell that bozo keep his twenty dollars, send you one dollar, and get the rest of them to send one dollar. That's what I said. You can't do it. If you can't do it, shut up to me. Don't come around talking, acting fly. I don't want to see no cash app because I got more money than all you niggas. There's only probably 2% of y'all got more money than me. Right? You're a broke little YouTuber. Relax. Relax. Yeah, this is for both of y'all. For y'all arguing and everything, this is what I want to say to both of y'all for arguing while you're arguing. Yeah, rebuttal that. Back to where we was at. I love the humor. What's up here? At one point in time, my day life, I'm weary in their mouth. That nigga, he might be in his room. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, he said at one point in time, Hassan Campbell had a wee wee in his mouth. I don't joke about stuff like that. Y'all wildin'. Y'all wildin'. It is no such thing as coming back from that. And y'all make it solidified. This is what I do. This is the type of shit I do with bitches. When I go through something with bitches, the bitch playing games, playing all that, you don't know where they at, you know they'll backstab you in a heartbeat, all type of stuff like that. I do the most horrible things to make sure you can't come back. I do the worst thing in the world to make sure if you play it off and act like you want to come back, I know in my mind you're lying. Because I already I did the most horrible thing to make sure you don't. That's what I do to bitches. Get the, when, I want, when I want you out of my life, I want you to hell out of here. I want you to get the fuck out of here. Hey, I don't want you laying around. I don't want you doing nothing. I want your ass out of here. Okay? And you're gonna, they're going to try to do little stuff they, they act like they still cool with you. Really, they out to get you. Yeah. Yeah. So I make sure I do the most horrible thing in the world. So when your fake ass come around acting, this is what zipping the drip, zip with the drip. And y'all remind me of two, to two bitches. Y'all remind me of two bitches on YouTube. That's what y'all remind me of. Y'all starting to remind me of two bitches on YouTube. If I've God ain't even do all this with y'all, son. Five God ain't go this long with you. Five God is on his own life, doing his own thing. You forgot about. You actually forgot about Five God. That nigga on some different shit in his life. Like, get out of here. You ain't gonna keep me on this, uh, on this uh treadmill. Shout out to Five God for that, man. Got away from that shit. Okay? Surviving high sign Campbell. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Surviving Hassan Campbell. That's the title. And I'm not dissing nobody no more. Like you did, Hassan, when you said, yo, there's no need for disrespect. And then turned around and started disrespecting him. Zip with the drip made the video after I made a video saying, this is hilarious how Hassan says he's not going to disrespect Zip and then disrespects him. I said all that, did a video right after shortly. Here comes Zip with the drip doing a video about saying the same thing. On this very video that I'm playing in the beginning, you'll watch our son disrespect me. Saying that to pretend as if he didn't look at my video. Wow. You can't make it up, man. You can't make this up, what these guys doing out here. So they all over me. Anything I do, anything I say, we can take what Pac said. Everything I say and do, y'all want to copy on, on, on YouTube? I'm on your, my foot is on your neck. My foot is on your neck for it. How that go? Okay, I don't mess with people. I don't start with people. People start with me. There's only one person. There's only one time I started with somebody. I ain't really start with them. I was just addressing Zip, telling Zip that Bimmy was playing the music in the crib. Bimmy was playing his music in the crib before all this started happening. Bimmy was playing the music in the crib. So when this, when the drama started happening, I started telling Zip. Yo, Zip, you took the wrong way, really, because Bim was playing your music in the crib. It could have went different. Everybody could have been cool, and everybody could have been doing But ain't nobody can't be cool out here. These niggas is fake, phony fraud niggas. Fake, phony backstabbing niggas. Okay? So ain't nobody would have been cool. That wouldn't have panned out good anyway. So it's good it went this way. Because the other way, it would have just been a bunch of fake friend shit. And then it, something would have happened and it would have still ended up right here anyway. So it's good we get to it now. You heard? Fuck all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck all that. This is hilarious though, y'all. social media all you got to do is have a dysfunctional life this guy talks about prison his whole life he's been in prison his whole life no diss I'm never dissing nobody I wish nothing happened to nobody that it happened to I wish everything would have went good in everybody's life that's what I wish but that's not the case this is a guy who don't know nothing about good talk he's in this is all right did you ever hear of uh, someone being institutionalized? 
it's safe to say he's institutionalized, ain't he? This, this is what you witness. Everybody wants to see a real person in real time that was really institutionalized. They want to witness it. They want to see it. They want to observe it. Look at the monkey in the window. Don't you get it? Don't you guys get it that, that that's all this YouTube stuff is? If you're getting a lot of views on YouTube and stuff is that is is a lot of like me, they want to observe Pack with the Stacks. He come from the streets, sold drugs. He did that. He's around the blocks. He promote music. He's been with all the rappers. He really made rap music. I lose a lot. Look at him. Let's look at him. That's him. That's the one who did all that. It's Pack with the Stacks. It's Pack with the Stacks right there. He did all that. Yeah, they want to know about that. You got a little institutionalized guy and a guy who've been through a lot of bad situations in his life. Everybody wants to watch like that. But to the to the monkeys, when they in the cage, they think they're special. You know, they in those cages like this. Not knowing you're in a goddamn cage, nigga. <laughs> Yo, it's too funny. I'm gonna show you how these two guys loves nothing more than copying me. Are you not entertained? <laughs> oh shit, we paid out here, nigga. That's who my brother was beefing with, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Your brother was beefing. That's how you should stand on, though. That's how you should stand on, though, nigga. The official niggas, tough niggas, the warriors. I don't give a fuck about who was a doctor, who was a lawyer. Nah, I ain't, nah, I ain't when I'm in the school type shit, nigga. Yeah, nigga, 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 Zip, you just said your cousins on your baby's father's son, your mother's <laughs> you just named 10 people who did something in their life cousins, distant cousins, 10th cousin uncle on the brother, father, cousin side, all that you named just to go back and say you don't care about none of who was a doctor and lawyer, you care about Sparta, you stay lying yeah you care about it you're lying See, this is the this is the effects of being institutionalized. This channel is about to go up like never before, cause I'm about to show y'all exactly. Instead of me telling y'all in the video, I'm gonna be showing y'all. So you know I'm not lying. It ain't gonna be no no more debates. Listen to this. I'm one of them. I'm more concerned. What you concerned with? The war aspects. Yeah, the security aspects of the community. Fuck all that other shit you heard. Let somebody else deal with it. Let somebody else teach these little girls and little boys how to wipe their ass. I don't want to do nothing. When they get old enough to shoot, send them to me. That's the type of time I'm Don't teach nobody how to wipe their ass, little boys and girls. When they get old enough to shoot, send them to him. Zip with the drip said, when they old enough to shoot, send them to him. These things don't get enough. You mean to tell me, boy? You didn't get enough of sitting in. Hey, you got killer come home, still trying to kill something. Still wish you could kill something. You got to be absolutely out of your mind. Do you know? Let me tell you guys. Let me tell you guys. Let me tell you. Let me tell all you institutional guys. One thing, let me tell you, let me tell you institutional guys, one thing that do bad in the street and you and you come around and you come home and you're bragging about it. Let me tell y'all one thing, because it seems like, you know, stupidity goes a long way these days. I don't understand how people so goddamn stupid. This is the truth. This ain't no more video. See, sometimes I'm entertaining y'all and sometimes I'm talking about video. Right now, I'm real serious. Let me tell y'all something about all these institutional, institutionalized guys that think talking gangster and living the gangster life and all that and constantly entertaining it and bigging it up. It's the only reason why you get views. You gotta like 
20 billion dumb niggas that entertained by that. First of all, second of all, let me tell y'all something. I hope you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, all the guys that sat and uh, did a whole bunch of time in jail and you made it out, you cried, you cried. 800,000 nights crying to get out. You made it out. Yes, look at them. Look at them, y'all. Hey, parole board, would you would have let them out? Look at him. He's still glorifying everything. He's institutionalized. He's still a killer. He's ready to murder. Guess what? Let me tell y'all guys something that's still ready to do that after you did an asshole fool and all that. You already flushed half your life down the drain. You can't get back. You're already behind. You're already behind in so many ways that you don't even see. They, they become not visible to you. I'm going to tell you this. You can't do one more. You do one more of those bids, your life is over, nigga. You do one more half, not even a whole one, a half of what you did. Do another one of those shits. Let me see you do another one. You're going to be so old, you're going to be walking with a fucking walker. If you're alive. Keep playing and keep glorifying this, this madness. You sound stupid. Jeez, oh shoot. And y'all watching this. And y'all not and y'all not blowing up my channel. See these are the people, they're not blowing up the yo, the devil is here. The devil wins over here. This is the devil's playing field. If you got good in your heart and all this type of stuff and morals and all, get out of here. Nobody wanna see your face, your cute face. You got a cute face, you dealing good, your body, you keep your, everything great in your life. Get out of here. You're on the wrong show, nigga. Yeah, this is what I'm figuring out. Yeah. Listen to this video. You're on the wrong show. You got to go over there with the convicts and the motherfucking, and the people that talk about, yo, sitting around doing 20 years jail, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Real shooters. You heard them? Spotters. They don't want to show the girls how to be girls and little young ladies. They want to show when they learn how to shoot, shut them to them. Once they learn how to bust that gat and pop that gun, now they can get in and get involved. This is they what they want to be a part of. You got to be crazy. You got to be crazy, nigga. You got to be crazy. Ain't nobody jacking that. Ain't nobody jacking that. Let's set these niggas up with a fake person and act like they beat with them and they let them pull out a gun to kill a fake person. Now, and then just send them back to jail for murder. <laughs> let them think they off to somebody. Let them think they got somebody. Let them think they killed somebody. Oh, you killed them. You're, you're going to jail. Life this time, Jack. You got life this time. <laughs> what part of the what part of the bid was you was these guys in when they came home and said, you know what, I'm gonna change now. I'm gonna change my life. You lie! All these niggas is on YouTube, institutionalized, out of their mind, missed life, and they over here doing the same shit that they've been doing before they went. They got the same mentality, the same body language, the same talking, the same everything. They ain't changed shit. Let them talk. All you gotta do is let them talk. They're gonna tell you who he is. Chuck, we know y'all know. That nigga's good for nothing. Yeah, that nigga's good for nothing. Yeah? Oh, wait. Zip, I told you, I'm Mr. No Bias over here. What are you good for? Zip, what are you good for? You showed a bunch of pictures to Hassan Campbell when he told you you was trying to figure out what you was going to do in your life, and you was, Zip. Those stupid pictures of you pulling out other people's money out your pants and stupid pictures in the, with people standing up going like this, like you lit. What? What What type of response was that? Like, did we, we were supposed to consider that your answer to that? Like, nah, I was already balling. No, you wasn't, nigga. See, you're a liar. Like, because you're a liar. You had shit going on. You had nothing. You was trying to rap. With no deals. Hassan changed your life. All right? Hassan Campbell changed your life. There's a lot of stuff he did. He took, he took, he bit off me and everything. I still tell the truth. 
Hasan came with change the light. Hasan's gonna change the light, what are you talking about? Then the person you bite in the hand that fed you and gave you life. You don't on you, more people know you, anything they contribute to you being a better person, sometimes you gotta give them a pass. Yeah, I know we get upset at people. Somebody could have did something for you and you could get mad at them. There's many people that did things for me that I'm upset with them, okay? And they'll never be the same relationship as they once had with me. And I let them live with that. You live with it, nigga. I ain't gotta go past a certain amount. Everybody get angry. Everybody's allowed, nigga, to express their anger. Especially if you did something foul, what you're not supposed to be doing, nigga. You, you eat that. You eat letting our niggas be angry. Nigga, you lucky that's all they did. So if somebody's angry a little bit, you eat it. But at the same time, the person who's angry don't go but so far. Because guess what? Then they're gonna turn you into them. When you go so far, now they turned you into them. And you really lost now. Now you can't come, now you can't come back to you because you are them now. And and that's the ultimate winning. No, you don't leave them with the win. You let them lose. You leave them losing. You leave them with that. You eat that. You leave them with that. You express your anger and you leave them with the rest. Now they got to go through life. They got to go through life with that on their jacket. Yeah, you're a sucker nigga. You're a sucker nigga. You eat that. That's another tear on your jacket. That, that jacket, after a while, that jacket is visible for being a fucked up jacket. Before you used to go hide it, you might have a tear under the collar, you could flip the collar and nobody see it. Yeah, niggas been working like that with their jackets for a long time. Little little tear here, little smear here. Well, as long as I keep my hand in my pocket, nobody will see that smear on my jacket. Yeah, but after a while, you get so many tears and smears, you can't cover it no more. So this is where a lot of these niggas is at in life. They're at the point where their jacket is just so messed up. It's got so many cuts and bruises and smears on it that is visible to anybody that passes them now. There's no more hiding. We know your jacket, Jack. Hey, Jack! Hey, Jack! We know your jacket. And that's just the way it is. You're gonna live with that. With this smoke, this fire. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So you gotta know how to play chess, Zip. You don't know how to play chess too good, Zip. Cause you go all the way in. See, you all the way in type niggas. Is a is a penalty, you know. You get a you get a sense of uh, uh, gratification when you them all the way in type niggas. Them all the way in type niggas. Yeah, you get your little sense of gratification. That's some real shit I'm talking right now. You know, like, comment, subscribe. You heard? Let's get to this. You could get with this, or you could get with that. I think you get with this because this is that. But uh, yeah, you get your little gratification. But after that, you finished. Them all the way out niggas. I could go all the way out on a lot of niggas. I could go all the way out and get a lot of self gratification. Look real good. Get wild views on YouTube. I could view this whole platform up if I wanted to. And because I could and choose not to, pack with the stacks. I'm that guy. I'm a superhero now. Because I got the power. Any superheroes movie you ever see, the superhero is always loved. Why? Because they're so powerful and choose not to do it to these people. That's the superhero. You want to be a superhero? This is why y'all can't be superheroes. These y'all niggas have never had the power to do something and choose not to do it. You understand what I'm talking to you? I'm talking to you today. Today I'm talking to you. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking to y'all. Real talk. This is what makes me the king. This is what makes Pack Stack so illin' in y'all. 
This is what makes pack stacks be so loopy with everybody in the industry. You do you, you, throughout the years while niggas was stuck in the. Was, you better stop playing with me. Y'all better stop playing with me. Let's listen to this to this show. I'm I, I'm gonna teach y'all a little more as we go. You just gonna have to listen and learn. You don't listen to my channel. You stupid. You ain't subscribed to to to, 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 to let's get to this. Y'all gotta learn. Partner, That why Zip looking for that, whatever he looking for. Let me ask you something, bro. He wasn't in my he wasn't in my Instagram years ago. He wasn't in my Instagram constantly until I started addressing you. You got your ass out of here. Do you want me to show the screenshots of my Instagram stories of the people, with, with the people that comes in and your name is there? You don't want me. See, this is why they won't, this is why they never really answer me, y'all, because I got receipts of everything that I'm talking about. Any, any accusations, any claims I made, I got the receipt. And the last thing they want me to do is show the receipts. I'm, at some point, I'm going to have to show them anyway, whether it was starting to respond or not. It's just going to show to put it out there to you, to the people that you are a liar. I don't understand how Haas gets so upset at people for copying and, and all this stuff. That's the only, that's one of the only things I don't really understand. I'm like, how this guy gets so mad and upset? You've been doing it to me for years. Wow. No, I'm not the type of thing. I'm a, you thought I was the type of person. To anybody who feels like picks people, I picked somebody on YouTube to talk about or something and I wasn't really talking with them and somebody in the comments they say, yeah they be saying wild wow, stuff you know what you can do that's all I'm gonna say but uh it's crazy out here bro you're a liar Hassan I don't know why he gets so upset But his part is funny though. If Fifth reached out to you how many right times, he said, yo, listen, yo, how many times? You see the BMF, you see power, you see goals, you see your crazy. It's crazy. He's like, man, who you is, man? Tell the people who you is. You know, he's doing shit like that. Yeah, I don't really gotta do too much explaining. No, 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 no intro. None of that. They already know the Fifth. They know. When you be doing shit like this, I'm gonna let out here in these streets. All right, so, so for the people who might not know, because like you said, they, they, they know, I'm, I'm sure they know. Huh? P2, the son of Kenneth Supreme McGriff. Huh? We got a distinguished gentleman in the building with me, man. His name is Bob Vuitton.
be selling merch. You be selling merch. I do. I got a business. Let's get to that. That's a business. That's a business. You know that, right? Oh, you didn't know that? That's a business. What kind of business you got? What kind of business you got? So I'm doing what you doing. What kind of business you got, nigga? I got a hustling business. Is it? Oh, right. That's a Sawyer Campbell's blueprint. Congratulations, my nigga. I want to see you win. I, just I got a bathtub business. Real business. Right, a lot of people think they know stuff about people. Everything that this is, this they don't know nothing. So much animosity towards me. <laughs> because. So now, right? Huh? Some people think they giving you views on social like media is your life. Some people think the hustle that they see you do is your whole life. They think that's so it. You, said, you don't get nothing up. The, um, the way you handled yourself, what you should have did was this. For the most point, a human being always think the about something they don't know that nothing about. Really I did none of the things that you said I should have did, right? I did none of those. So how I'm trying to do what you do. You didn't pay attention to these niggas. Baby, Let these niggas think whatever must up, whatever movie, vision they vision in their head. So why? Why? And you didn't like it. You was voicing your displeasure. And you didn't like it. Because I didn't do what you wanted me to do. What you think I should have did at the time. So if that is the case, how then am I trying to do what you do? See how stupid you sound, you fucking dummy? Huh? You fat dummy? Don't you put me on your two. There's no way a nigga like you can outsmart me. I seen your stock. Yeah, your stock was, was strung up like a fucking cow before. Nigga, I saw your stock. It's no way a nigga like you can outsmart me, bro. You just be talking to me, talking, and the more you talk, the better you make me look. Because when I break it down, it's like, damn, I was be right. Because I was right. What the fuck is you talking about? I didn't go on there, bro. Is it? The more you talk and I break it down, the more people say, yo, Stack, you right. Pat, you right. You right. These guys been biting you. You've been put. All right, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Yo, if I love you, don't take it lightly. 